<laughs> hey guys, and welcome to a new podcast. We have no name for it yet, but this involves Adam. Or that one guy. Or... Adam, are you eating? No. In the podcast, really, dude? We started the podcast already? Yes, we have. Oh, balls. Yes, all balls. Right, I'm literally... Does this mean I have to stop? Well, I'm, uh, maybe. <laughs> it might. Um, anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to try and find a fan fiction. Um, no, no, no. I've got the pan- fan fiction this week. No, I've got the fan fiction, haven't I? Ah. Yeah, you can have the fan fiction I'm this so week. I'm so happy. Because I'm because I'm nice. Archive of our own, yeah. So, what? How are we gonna do today, Adam? First things first. I've got to stop eating. That might help. Second thing. Second, I've got to get a drink. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Something alcoholic. Nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'll leave that. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. Alright, well, I'm still trying to find a fan fi- I'm doing a Cherik fan fiction. Um, Cherik fanfic? I can appreciate that. Yeah, I think most people can. Ch- a Cherik, a Cherik, as most of you will know, is a Charles Xavier and Eric. I have found, a f- I have found the perfect fan fiction. I can't even remember Eric's second name Eric at the moment. Lecture. There you go. Uh, right, it is called A Very Cherrick Christmas. It's a very Cherrick Christmas. Right, shall I... Uh, I won't do voices, because, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we'll reserve the voices until a real voice actor does it. Screw you! <laughs> One day we might have Mark Hamill, and then we'll do a Batman <laughs> script reading. That is our and goal I, now. And now Mark, and then Mark Hamill will be Batman, and I will be the no. Joker. Wait! Hello, no, ladies and gentlemen. Have Mark ha- no, 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 we are, no. An extremely exciting Adam, event. Adam. We will all be extremely happy, and we will plot the murder of every damn clown in the world, except for myself. <laughs> I think Mark Hamill is much better. I'm sorry. Right, shall yeah, I start that, reading? I was can't do it at the moment. Okay. Anyway, that's my rendition of the Joker, not yours, not Mark Hamill. Well, in all fairness, my... Mark, ha- Mark Hamill gets annoyed if people just copy his voice, so... Right, I am going to start reading this fanfiction. Come on, Eric, Charles smiled warmly, patting the older man on the back. Can't you crack a smile for Christmas? Ha-ha, how amusing. Your humour astounds me, Charles, Eric grumbled, flashing a sullen smile. He picked out a loose hangnail and blew out a long, uh, ragged breath before taking a long gulp of his whiskey. Lighten up, my friend, Charles chuckled, draping fairy lights over the metal vendors. <laughs> Taste, uh, man of Broad taste. shoulders. Um, the stack on trust of the happy twinkling lights and the older man's furrowed brow, causing another bubble of laughter to escape from his lips. Eric couldn't help uh, the smirk that always came after Charles's affectionate teasing. How long, how long is this? Not that long. Okay. Too long. Ugh, no fan fiction. I'm gonna go check the children on the children. Make sure they're okay. Oh god, I've got something in my throat. i got a bubble! i got a bubble throat! <clears throat> no wonder they call you mum behind your back, Eric scoffed, grinning. Bloody disgraceful. You watch out or I'll have you thinking you're a cat for a week. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> I know you was, and you're not vindictive. He pulled a face before closing the heavy oak door behind him. Charles returned uh, a few minutes later holding two mugs and sat down in the leather chair across from Eric. Uh, the children are fine. But they're dead. I don't know 
Why you call them children, Charles? Most of them are 18 or above. Oh, right, yeah, children are some, Yeah, okay. People in the school. Anyway, if I call them children, I don't feel as old. I don't want to admit my party days are over. That's that's the wrong way around. That's the wrong way around. By calling them children, that makes it sound as though you're their parent. Therefore, that means because you're older than them and you're calling them children, that makes you really uh, old. Yeah, we're, it's a fan fiction. We'll roll with it. Um, please, you're anything but old, and who's to say uh, your party days are over? He wiggled his eyebrows. We've had some pretty wild nights. Oh, shush. Shush you. Hot chocolate? Charles proffered a steaming mug towards the old man and smiled. Charles, I'm ashamed. I thought you knew I didn't drink anything that wasn't at least 10% alcoholic. Ah. Which is why I took the liberty of adding tequila to ours whilst Alex wasn't watching. It's tequila, not tequila. I don't care. I feel like you and me are going to get on tonight. Charles scrunched his face up into a mock of sadness. Don't we always? Only when you're not acting like a know-it-all. Was that in the fan fiction, or was that you saying that to no, me? No, it's in the fan fiction. I, <laughs> I couldn't tell. I do not act like a know-it-all. I know I'm not a know-it-all. Dude, you act like a know-it-all Shut all up. the time. <laughs> Charles, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold me back anymore. Okay, I'm done. Uh, you're not going to win this. I won't let you. He cocked an eyebrow. He cocked something else as well. <laughs> oh, you won't. Oh, you won't, will you? No, he laughed. Now get back to decorating that godforsaken tree. I have no idea why you even need one in your study. Who's going to see it? You. Because I'm um, the master of the man, the bitch. And me, of course. It's nice. He whined defensively. It's festive. Eric snorted. And Such it's twice the size of you. Eric. Young... So your mum said Eric. Oh! She can't, she can't get out of bed and she's got so many medical instruments attached to her. She looks like a fucking Christmas tree. That's, that's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. The younger man huffed. No, it's not, is it? Oh, God, it is. He sighed as he placed a ball ball on a branch uh, and blew a wisp of hair off his forehead. Come. He sighed as Eric put his in his. Yeah, that's that's not happening hot. yet. Um, calm down. Yes. It was just a joke, Charles. You're fine. Charles managed not to blush, but his next words were uh, telltale, high pitched, and squeaky. Thank you. Hold on. Thank you. You're uh, not so bad yourself. Thank you. Thank you. You're not so bad I yourself. No. <laughs> not so bad, Eric said in a joking disbelief. Thanks for that uh, ins inspiring compliment. I'm having that inscribed on my gravestone. I b oh. I but I didn't mean I didn't I didn't I didn't mean oh, that's weird grammar. Anyway, uh, I know. Um, I know, is, I know. Because it's usually written by a crackpot. Yes, probably. <laughs> no, it was written and by that, a fan girl. And that and that crackpot is probably watching I'm right sorry, now. Sorry, that crackpot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, I know. Go on, uh, put the star on the tree and be done with it. Charles reached for the sparkly the decoration. Crack, the, crack, with... the crackpot is not putting anything in my house. <laughs> Glitter. And no. Glitter coming off on his hands and then stood up on his toes to reach for the point of the fir tree. Shit! He reached up again, breathlessly. Noises coming from his mouth, but no avail. He sighed, frustrated. Eric got up, smiling, and reached for him. I'll lift you up so you can reach it. It'll be fine. I'll lift you up and place you straight down. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, no, Charles Faff. I don't want you to go to any trouble. I'll go get a chair. Eric caught the telepath's arm as he went to leave. He can control place. metal. He should just get like a gold metal bauble and stick it under his ass and then lift him up on it. <laughs> anyway, leaving his hand on his back. Listen here, you fool, he smiled. 
I'm going to lift you up, and you're going to put that bloody star on that bloody tree, and then we're going to sit and have a drink, okay? Okay, Charles gave in and let himself be picked up by the waist before placing the star on the tree. All that from Eric's jerk. Yeah. So why are we always presented with Eric sounding American? Because he, um, more or less, grew up in America. No. Well, he mainly grew up in Germany, but then he was uh, moved to America, and it's like it takes what ten years for an accent to completely go to for another one to come back on. Technically, your accent stops changing when you're eight. It's more that your brain changes your accent because your default accent doesn't change past the age of eight. Nah, who cares? Uh, all that for a bloody trick. Eric was cut off by the Charles. Oh, that for a bloody oh, tree. One. That's my freaking tree you're putting up uh, there, you uh, This is. Oh, no, kinky no. stuff is happening. James, that was kinky, I'm kinky sorry. Stuff is, <laughs> shut up. Kinky stuff is happening. Um, all, kinky all stuff. All that for a bloody tree. Eric was cut off by Charles's mouth on his, and he hesitated before gladly returning the kiss that he had been craving since Charles had walked in in his Christmas sweater with, a scru with scruffy hair. Eric's second day stubble caught on Charles's chin, but he didn't mind as Eric pushed him to the wall and deepened the kiss before pulling back. Verdament, ver, 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 verdament, I can't read. You're going to be the ruin of me. Now, he said, uh, Charles straightened his sweater and must up his head. James, my recording software just stopped for no reason whatsoever. Okay. Mine hasn't. Just, um, must out his hair. Um, he got that. Just got out of bed and kept this hair on purpose. Look, that Eric always made fun of me. I fancy a game of cards with the children, as you so call them. Are you going to join me? Uh, I join you. He's gonna get them drunk. <laughs> He's gonna get them drunk. That's bad. That's bad, Eric. I, I join no. you anywhere. You know that. Charles. Charles's voice uh, left his head as fast as it came in the depth, and the telepath smiled at Eric's confusion before ch ch chiddingly. Ch 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 I don't know. Chidingly. Saying no gambling. No gambling before twelve. Okay. Eric, Charles, Charles. Hmm. What? I asked you if you wanted any more potatoes. Oh, Hank. Yes, please. Professor, are you crying? Don't call me that. Charles snapped, running a hand through his matted long hair. I, I, um. Are you okay? I'm fine. I was thinking of a memory from a long time ago. Is all. Don't mind me. His smile was so fake that Hank. Uh. Could decided to sh could stick his cock as Charles pushed his wheelchair into the study and slammed the door tight and he ignored the ragged sobs uh, the kind of sobs that hurt your chest as they came out he heard later that night as he made his way to his room he'd been ignoring a lot of things recently James, James, don't you just hate it when a slob comes out your chest and it kind of hurts? Yes. Anyway, that's the fan fiction done. That's the fan fiction. Yeah. So basically, next week, when it's time for my fan fiction, I'm going to pick the dirtiest, smuttiest fan fiction, and we're going to have a fun time editing it and just bleeping out every other word. So it's literally, he pressed his beep into my beep, and all the while my beep was going beep all over the beeping place. Anyway, so... <laughs> That's going to be fun. Adam, um, I think a category that I, I've, I've wanted to cover... Um, with this podcast is our top actor of the week. Ooh. Now, I, I've already got one. It's probably obvious. Can you guess it? No. David Tennant. Oh my god. It's, it's hardly current though, is it? No. He was... Uh, right. He was my favourite Doctor Who. And... He was recently in Jessica Jones, and he was brilliant in that. Have you watched Jessica Jones? No. Go watch Have you watched Daredevil? <laughs> okay, um, if I... Oh, God. Basically, mm -hmm. I think... Mm -hmm. 
that um, the best the best actor of well Your our, actor, our of actor of the week my actor of the week would have to be Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Why is that? Because although I've not seen it, I believe his performance in Star Wars The Force Awakens is freaking kick ass. Um and yes, he is I in it. He is. I saw um uh, a thing from like earlier this year. But anyway, Ooh. then again, or Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, oh, the king of sci-fi. King of he sci-fi. Is, he is renowned as the king of sci-fi because he's been in Star Wars, Blade Runner, um, Cowboys vs. Aliens. Um, you know what he's also been Indiana in? Indiana Jones. Yes, he has. Um, he's also been in the evil... No. Oh, he was in Anchorman. Anchorman. Lies beneath. What lies beneath? I've not seen that. He was in Anchorman. Yeah, he was. He did a cameo in Anchorman. <laughs> um, basic. He's my favorite character in Robot Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Mark Hamill's the best actor in Robot Chicken <laughs> ever. Yeah, Except maybe Seth Green. <laughs> Seth Green's pretty mm. good. No, that's it. Seth Green. Freaking Seth, Seth Green, Green was in a Scooby Doo movie. He was. You know, I'm going to get up the IMDb for Seth Green. You do that. And, okay. You know what films Seth Green has been in? Or what TV shows? Um, Robot Chicken. He has been in a lot of Robot Chicken. He was, he's okay. the co-producer, isn't he? Robot Chicken. Yeah. Scooby-Doo. In, in Robot Chicken... He has been, um... He was Palpatine, wasn't he? He has been a lot of people in Robot Chicken. Okay, I'm getting up a list here. I'm getting up a list. Not, I think he's, uh, he's been in Robot Chicken. Mainly, isn't he? Or, I don't know. Okay, so in Robot Chicken, he has been... The Nerd, oh, yeah. Santa Claus, Fred Claus, Adolf Hitler, The Grumble, Crumb, Hulk... The Nerd, again. again, Daniel Gryo Robo, Mickey Mouse, bet my Mickey Mouse is better, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, Harry Potter, Roadblock, Ash Ketchum, Gargamel, Vanity Smurf, mm -hmm. The Thing, Nick Fury, The Nerd, Daniel G Gyro Robo. I love how they put The Nerd three times. And Daniel Gyro Robot twice. Guess who? Batman. Oh, there, there. The nerd, the nerd, Saruman, Prince Eric, Bruce Wayne, Batman, S Dave Seville, Blue Streak, Megatron, Starscream, Splinter, Leonardo, Bob, Tiger Woods, Tooth, Bunny, uh -huh. Cobra Commander, Fred Flintstone, Benjamin Franklin, Purple Pie Man, Bruce Wayne, Harry Potter, Elmer Fudd, the nerd. Fourth time. Oh my. Oh my god, just just so many. I'm literally scrolling past like 20 listed voices. He has also been in Hulk Agents of Smash, in which he played A-Bomb, Rocket Raccoon, he was -bomb. Rick Jones. He was A-Bomb oh, and no, Rocket. He was Rocket. Nice. Okay. He was um, in Wrestling Isn't Wrestling, no, in no. which he was a DX fan, hashtag one. In Star Wars Detours, he was... Obi-Wan Kenobi, Gwygon Jin, and Cad Bane. In um, Guardians of the Galaxy, he was the voice of Howard the Duck. The Soup TV series, he was in episode 11.35 as himself, I believe. In Yellowbird, he did the English voice of Yellowbird. Wow. In Sabre Free, Revenge of the Freesome, he did the uh, voice of the electrician. Uh, I think we get the point. He's, He's been in so a much. lot of things. He has. And you know what my favourite role of him would be? Either Jeff the Joker Mario in uh, Mass Effect 3, or, all-time favourite, would have to be, I'm not sure if it's on there, probably Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I forgot he was in that. I've never seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've just, you know, 
I've because he's he's Oz in Buffy yeah. the Vampire Slayer who dates Willow, and that's just amazing. Right, I've never seen it to be honest. I just know that Joss Whedon created it. Yes, created it, financed it, and wrote all. Of the Did you know that? Um, oh, quick, quick, uh, bit off topic. Uh, Joss Whedon actually, um, because of the pressure of Avengers: Age of Ultron. He um, quit doing Avengers Infinity War, so they had to find someone else to do that. Don't know who's doing it. Um, Did you know? He quit Twitter, that... and he completely has not been doing anything else ever since. Did you know Josh Whedon made more money off of a web series called Dr. Horrible's, Hor Dr. Horrible's Sing Along than he did off of the Avengers movie? I did not know that. True fact. He actually commented that, and he said he enjoyed doing Dr. Horrible Sing Along much more. I've seen it. It's pretty funny, and it has the guy from How I Met Your Mother in. Which one? There's quite a few guys. Oh, do you mean the blonde guy? Barney. Yeah, the blonde oh, guy. Right, right. He's awesome. Barney, I think he's called. Anyway, let's move on to the main topic for today. Cute intro noise type thing. Let's get in this TARDIS and move on out of here. So, we have a special guest with us today. Well, semi well, yeah, special. Well, special. Well, no, we don't have a special guest. Are you calling your own girlfriend not special? No, that's, no, I'm just, I, I wish, I wish Shivy were here. Oh, wait! She oh. is! She is! Nice. This is like Christmas. It's starting to, to talk look to my girlfriend. Like Christmas. Shh, you can't date the episodes. Everywhere you go. You start to sing. It's a holiday, you All right, sing. I don't know the rest of the words. Hi, Shivy. The lyrics to the song. Hi. How are you? Shivy, you've just been immortalized on the internet. How'd you feel? Kind of shy. Aww. Amazing. She's so cute. So, Whatever. as you can probably tell by what Adam said about the TARDIS, we're going to talk about Doctor Who. Now, Shivy is a bit of a Doctor Who fan. Yeah. I'm a Doctor Who fan. Adam really doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the best Doctor Who fan. However, I am a nerd and I am willing to accept Doctor Who for all its faults and its glories. And I have been watching Peter Capaldi, however... Peter Capaldi admit... sucks! Anyway. No, yeah. he doesn't. He's a lovely old man. Also, they managed to work in the fact that he has been in Doctor Who before. Yes, I, I, that was alright. That that little bit. That was, no, the uh, only that bit was about that that I liked is that David Tennant was in it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I I Tennant was my favourite Doctor by far, except some of the older Doctors. Right. So I can't say I'm a, I can't say I'm a fan of Sonic sunglasses. No, though. They've got rid of them now. Now it's a Sonic screw. It's a blue one again. Anyway, Shivy, I am going to give you ten random Doctor Who facts that you're going to set. You have to give the answer for. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, here's the answer. Fact. This is a Doctor Who fact. Doctor Adam? Who is good. Adam. Give an answer for that. <laughs> oh, I don't know you. Doesn't make right. sense. Uh, then you just say pass, and I I will count them up on my hand. Right, Adam. For this bit, I I will do the questions, and then I, I yeah, she will answer. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be ready to type the answers to her. No. Don't do that. <laughs> right, Shivy. First question. Can we have suspense music, please? Some what? Suspense, well, suspense music. music. Sus suspense. Music. Suspense yes. music. Right, Shivy. Question number one. Are you ready? No. What does TARDIS stand for? Um, time... And relative dimensions. Adam, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> okay, first question. Uh, uh, yeah, the hardest people mm, talk to him. Time and relative dimension in Adam, space. You got that I know correct. because I wrote, a I wrote a fanfic for Doctor really? Who when I was about six. Oh, okay. On my computer. 
my first computer and I wrote about the first paragraph and a half of a Doctor Who fanfic. Nice. I have a history of not completing things, except with this beautiful lady. Oh, anyway, Shivy, question number two. Can you name every single doctor? <laughs> now, it doesn't have to be their first names, you can do their last names. Oh my god, I can, like, imagine what they look like. <laughs> Stop <laughs> their names. <laughs> okay, just start with the ones you do know. Um, David Cannon. Yeah. Um, Slow down. Slow it. down a bit. Right, I will give you the answer, uh, just so you know for future reference. Wait, 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 wait. She said that's it. Um, no. No, I said Matt Smith. Oh, Matt Smith. No. Yeah, that's two. No, she knows, she knows more. She just has to look in the Skype comments. No. You haven't done anything. <laughs> no, Adam, no. What? No, naughty. Oh come on, naughty. Come on. I want good. I want Chevy to win. No. <laughs> right. I can't remember the first. Names, the f- but I remember one scene called Christopher. Okay. okay. The first Doctor was played by Bob Mortimer. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Yes, it was. No, the it actual wasn't. Cat. No, no, he no, played no, 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 no. it in a non. Hear me out. Canon. Hear me out. Out. Hear me out, okay? He played it in Shooting Stars. That was a non-canon. That was in, that was in a parody. I know. I was joking. Right. <sighs> Probably right. less actually. Shitty. No, come on, so James. You got James, three. Come. Yeah. Yeah, I know for no more as well. I just remember them. Oh uh, yeah. Right. Do you want to see if you can get any more? Yep. All right. Go. Right, first one is William Hartnell. Second one is Patrick. Whoops. Uh, Trotton, that's it. Trouton. Uh, third one is. What? It's Patrick Trouton. Trouton. I thought it was Trouton. No, Trouton. <laughs> Hello, my name is Patrick Trouton. Trouton. <laughs> Edit that out, James. <laughs> no. Third one is John Perkins. Yeah. Third, um, Fourth. No, not Fourth one is Tom Fraser. Are you reading these Fourth. from somewhere? No. no I can remember them. I'm, I'm actually remembering them. Right. I'm being serious. I'm an honest person. I don't, I don't believe any of you. I don't believe any of you. Um, what Fifth. one was that? This one is Peter Davison. Yeah. Sixth one is Colin Baker, yeah. and I think so. Is, is he related to Tom Baker? No. Of course he did. Right. Seventh. Um, seventh one is Sylvester McCoy. Yeah. Eighth. Eighth is Paul McCannon. Down. Ninth is Christopher Eccleston. Yeah. Tenth. Tenth is David Tennant. Eleventh is Matt Smith. And twelfth is Peter Cowell. Boom! I think you cheated for oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, what no. did you do? She, she would never cheat. Oh, no, you would, though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. So that was question number two. I have. Yeah, I've got loads of words going. <laughs> right. You're going to tell me like their age or something now. I thought, oh god. <laughs> to wi- which. Oh, which doctor was the first to use the sonic screwdriver? Um. I'll give you a clue. It's not the first. Yeah, I know that. Which doctor was the first? They probably wouldn't even know what Sonic was. Uh, I'm probably going to go from Paul McGowan. Yep, it was Patrick Troughton. I, really? yeah. I would have said I would have said Troughton as well. Well, that's because we did a Q and A thing. No, I, I didn't. I didn't remember it was Troughton from that. I just remember. Fair enough. 
Somehow right. it was Charlton. Question number four. Number four. Hmm. Lucky number. <clears throat> it is, and you'll get this one really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, James. Make it really difficult. Okay. Make it really difficult. You're not helpful, uh -huh. are you, Adam? I am. Make it really, really I'm difficult. Good. You want me to make it really, really difficult? Yes, what I'm a strong support boyfriend. What was the name of the first Doctor Who companion? Just give me the first name. I don't know. Um, I want to say Lily. What? I don't know. You don't. I'm thinking back like. Like a really old Doctor Who film, and there was a little girl called Lily. Mm, I'll give you a clue, it's not Lily. <laughs> Worst clue ever. <laughs> I know. John? What? <laughs> I can't believe you would actually say that. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? <laughs> there, there John. Was, there was actually a guy in there called John as well. Right. So you don't know, basically. No, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, so the first Doctor Who companion went from the first Doctor to the second Doctor, Actually, including the no, 1983 that's, special. That's Adam. No, it's correct. No, it isn't. It was seasons one to two. No, you are incorrect, Adam. She left. No, it was seasons one to two. Adam, listen to the nerd who's actually watched it. She Listen to Wikipedia, man. <laughs> she left during the first Doctor's run. Yeah, but it was still season two. Yeah, but it was like right at the end of his run. Yeah, still season two. Yes, but you said second Doctor. Susan Susan Foreman. Yes. Season seasons one and two, including the nineteen eighty three. You just gave away the answer. Barbara White was the companion. There was another companion who oh, was in seasons one and two. Ian Chesterton was another right. companion, a male companion, who was in seasons one and two. And um, the first one from season two to three was Vicky, as played by Maureen O'Brien. Right. Okay, now that's out of the hair. See, I, just, I, I Google everything. Shivy. I don't have to have know anything about it. Shivy. Which yep. two of the Doctors did not leave their run of the Doctor by their own accord? Actually, three. What? Which three Doctor Who actors did not leave their run as the Doctor on their own accord? I have no idea. The No, one second. Colin Baker. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was Sylvester Colin Baker. McCoy and Paul McGann. I didn't realise it was McGann. Uh, McGann only did the film and Night of the Doctor. Mm. So. But I haven't watched all the old Doctor Who's. I've only watched like the latest one. Well, you're, uh, you're boring. Edison. All right, this one's a bit of an easy one. My mum's watched all Wait the others. Second. Wait a second. Why did Christopher Eccleston really leave the one after one series of Doctor Who? Speaking at an acting masterclass at the Theatre Royal Haymarket on Wednesday, Eccleston reportedly revealed revealed that it was on set po politics and principles that finally led him to resign. Yeah. That was by his own accord. Which, of his own accord, but it was due to on set politics. Yes, but he didn't That doesn't count. Oh, I know. I know. I was I was I just wanted to bring up something interesting to do with people leaving Doctor Who. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> right. So you should, you should get this one. Which uh, clothing items? Which three clothing clothing items did the eleventh Doctor find cool? Oh. 
check your messages. Don't check your messages. And I'll leave you to get the other one. Oh, I already knew it anyway. <laughs> Come on, you should know the most obvious one. I know, bow tie. Yeah, bow tie, that's one. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> what are the other two? Other two? You said there were three. Yeah, so there's bow tie and then another two. And Fez. She already said oh, Fez. I... Fez. Damn it, same. He said Fez. Right, one more, one more, one more. Lisps. He said lisps were cool. I've got to think of one more. Yeah. Shoes. Um... Clocks. No. Clogs. No. Clogs. It's... Clogs and clogs. One episode. Do you think. Um, I'll give you a clue. He only says it once. Um. And it is in the episode The Impossible Astronaut. Yeah, he he's wearing a cowboy hat. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. It's called a Stetson. Yeah. Stetson. I know he's that. like he said I wear a Stetson now. Stetsons are cool and then rip you know, River Song shot it off. Yeah, I know. Okay. I watched that. I watched that episode. Oh. When um River Song married the Doctor, vice versa. What um, was the Doctor's relationship to Amelia Pond after that moment? Uncle, creepy uncle. No, or um, <gasps> son-in-law. Son -in yes. <laughs> Yay. Anyway. You have to, right. You have to tell me which doctor said this line, and maybe what episode. Is it really old doctor? Uh, the, um, actor or when he was about? It's quite. It's quite a modern thing, so you should know this. It was quite a big Doctor Who thing. Great men are forged in fire. It is the privilege of lesser men to light the flame. So you want us to find out? No, I want you to just the... go off your general knowledge. Who said that? Which doctor said that line? You can either say the actor's name. What, what line? Great men are forged in fire. Great men are forged in fire. You're not looking this up, are you? You're looking this up. No. <laughs> Don't look it up. I'm, gonna say... I'm not looking right. it up. Shivy. As you're saying. I'm going to say David Tennant. No. No, David Tennant was no, in that episode. No. It's the war doctor. Yes. I don't know. Because I half remembered it. It was John Hurt who said, um, Great men are forged in fire is the privilege of lesser men to light the flame just as you were about to blow up Gallifrey and then, you know. Yeah. Anyway. See this. This does make sense. This means. This means that the knife doctor is actually the tenth doctor. Yeah. It, did. I, I, it was confusing. Okay. Um. Right. Okay. <clears throat> what was the last word said by Christopher Eccleston? before he regenerated into David Tennant. No idea. Okay, I'll give you last line. Teeth. No, that was David Tennant. Ginger. No. Christopher Elkston's last line. So you want us to find out no, Christopher Elkston's last line to know. from right, I'll... Doctor Who? Don't look it up. You're cheating. By the way, I'm only counting up actually what Shivy says, so everything that you look up does not count, Adam. What's the style? I don't care. <laughs> so basically. <coughs> right, he said, You're nope. fantastic. Absolutely Quick. fantastic. Quick. Shh. And you know what? No, wait a Rose second. Wait Tyler a second. gave him a look, and he said, so was I, and then he regenerated. Okay, 
Okay, so do you want to know what the first thing the first doctor said? Sure. Was um, he appeared as a child in series series eight of the two thousand and five reboot, and um, he said run. No, no, the first doctor. His first words were "Hello, who's there? Hello." Okay. Anyway, and his last words on um, on the show were, "Oh yes, thank you. Keep warm." Shivy. And the first and episode or episodes that um. Twelfth Steve- Doctor. His first words as the Doctor were, "Kidneys. I've got kidneys. I don't like the colour." Yes. Okay. The first... <laughs> legs. I've still got legs. Good. Arms, hands, ooh, fingers, lots of fingers, Adam! ears, ears, eyes, two, nose, I've had worse, chin, blimey, hair, I'm a girl. No, no, I'm not a girl. And I'm still not ginger. There's something else. Something important. I'm, I'm, I'm crashing. Geronimo, who said that? Matt Smith. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what his last word was? Was, um... Oh god, what was it? Geronimo. I cried at that speech. Anyway, Shivy. Its very last word was, Hey. Uh. Oh. Hey was his last word. Yeah, you Right, you made me forget the question now, Adam. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remembered it. Oh god, damn it. <laughs> Shivy. The first two episodes that Stephen Moffat, the current head writer, was the first two episodes, um, main villain or main bad guy character in the first two episodes that he wrote. Oh, is it a Dalek? Uh, nowhere near. Well, I don't know. The that. gas mask <laughs> child. Oh, the ant child. Yeah. Yeah, the empty child, James. God, I said villain. Should we notice it better? I said villain. And he's known as the gas mask child. The empty <laughs> child no, is the episode. He's the empty child. That's the... No, that's actually what he is. He is an empty child. He's not a gas mask child. Why I always call him the gas mask <laughs> Shut up. Oh, child. That's just you, James. <laughs> Shivy, last question. James, I'm just playing what? egg. Come on, don't get upset. Right, Shivy, last question. Actually, what? Yay! Last question. Rose, before I go, I just want to say you were fantastic. <laughs> and for some reason, I'm Irish. I'm a fire. <laughs> I'm a farmer. Rose, before I go, I just want to say you were fantastic. Absolutely, Absolutely fantastic. fantastic. And you know what? And you know what I... And... So was I. <laughs> well then. Oh. New teeth. Teeth. New teeth. That's weird. Anyway. Where was he? Oh yeah, Barcelona. Anyway, sorry. Um, Shivy. Hello. Shivy. Adam. Hello. 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 This is me you're looking for. Adam. Adam. You guys cut out. Yeah, so did yeah, you. Anyway, last question. <laughs> what year yep. did Doctor Who start? <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. I already told you. I can't remember. I'll give you a clue. I know it started in 19 something. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It was the early I 60s. I 
I don't know. Question for my mother. Not me. Adam, that's going to completely screw things up. <laughs> 1963. I knew it was a 19. Adam! Adam! Ow! 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 You're treating us like children. <laughs> the children of my civilization would be insulted. <laughs> Your civilization? My you got civilization. got 5 out of 10 correct. <laughs> <laughs> you can now class yourself as an alright to who nerd, I guess. A Hoovian. A, a semi. A Hoovian in. Half with a a, a Hoovian in semi progress. Semi Hoovian. Anyway. Halfway there, Doctor Who. Um, so, shall we just talk about Doctor Who now? Oh, uh, I don't know. I think after those questions, we need kind of a wind yeah. down and a. Yeah. That was a bit of a... Right, Shivy, thank you yep. for being here to talk about Doctor Who. That's fine. If, That's fine. if, if you want to hang around a bit, you Just can... Just put you your, can mic mute your mic on mute. We can oh. edit us saying that right. out. Thank you, Shivy. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, so we've so we've got the main body of the podcast out the way, yeah. which is talking about Doctor Who. Um, yeah, I, still th got, I think what twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we don't we don't have to do twenty minutes because there's going to be some stuff cut out. There's going to be well, some stuff we might. I have, have to, to put cut in. out a whole portion of when I was away. I had to go away. Actually, me and Sh me and Shivy did fill in some stuff that I think it would be funny to put in at Hooray! the end. We did. I might just leave that in. No, 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 no. Cut it out and put it at the okay. end. Um. <laughs> you can, you can put it as okay. So um, looking back at the audio, this is what I found out Siobhan and Adam were doing <laughs> in the middle where it was gone. Right. So um, ha. What shall we do now, Adam? We shall murder people. <laughs> Right, um, okay. let's talk about movie news. No, 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 okay, let's play wine or cheese. Wine or cheese. Okay. I, I don't understand, what is this game? James, wine or cheese? Um, cheese. Okay, so you've got two wheels of cheese. Uh-huh. And you're in the middle of a... Zoo. What types of cheese have you got? Cheddar. Gouda. Parmesan. Cheddar. Cheddar and Gouda. Uh, okay, I want to change Gouda for Parmesan. Cheddar and Parmesan. So you've got a wheel of Parmesan. Yes. Have fun. Okay, um... So you're sitting in the middle of the zoo. What you notice first is that there's an elephant eating the tree behind you, previously unaware. Um, there's a woman walking towards you with a taser in her hand. Why does she have a taser? Well, I'm assuming it's because she's going to get the elephant. She gets closer and closer and you can pretty sure that she's not going after the elephant because she's not taking her eyes off of you right what do you do I run uh, but I run away where do, where do you run to behind the elephant you run behind the elephant yes. uh, you're, you're standing right under its ass yes. and it decides to do a massive shit, shit. on you <laughs> <laughs> and whilst it does this, um, a swarm of flies congregate. Oh. Now, now, let's face it, you're going to start to stink a bit if you've got shit all over you. It's all in your shoes, it's in your mouth, in your ears, oh, in your nose. Ew. Now you now you can't even see the, the lady with the taser. Oh no! And I hear shit is quite good at conducting electricity. What do you do? 
I become Fly Man and control the flies with my magical ship powers. Um, <laughs> and then order the flies to fly me away. Okay, so um, you you wave your hands in the air, the flies start buzzing towards you, and they go under your arms and they try to lift you, and they end up getting lodged in the shit and suffocating. Oh. Now the elephant is urinating. Fortunately, it's a girl elephant, so the piss is washing away some of the shit that's in your eyes. <laughs> Nice. Oh, and now you can see that the woman with the taser is just round the corner. She's literally, she's coming under its leg and she's just got a bit of piss on her shoe and she's not looking happy. She lunges forward with the taser. And you... Pull out my um, revolver and blast her in the face. So you pull out your revolver and you blast her in the face and suddenly you can hear the sh cries and shouts of a hundred angry people and you, you turn around and you can see the body of a dead rhinoceros is on their shoulders Oh Um <laughs> So if something must have happened with this rhinoceros what, what, what happened James? What happened? Is this why the lady with the taser was coming up to you? Maybe did you did you piss about with that rhinoceros and it broke down the cages and and let out that poor elephant? Uh, 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 mm. And then you killed the lady. How angry are those people? And you've only got a revolver and it only had three bullets in it. You're now down to two bullets. Um, what are you gonna? I will poke the rhinoceros to make sure it's dead, and it is. And then it's I'll... it's on top of a group of people, and those people do not look happy. In fact, the woman in the very front of the group has a shotgun. And she's aiming it at your head. I... And she said, "Who have my revenge? Will you kill me?" I, I get on the phone to Superman. He flies over, picks up the rhinoceros as well as the shotgun, and then flies away. Okay, so he picks up the rhinoceros and the shotgun and flies away. Now you've just got a bunch of angry people, and Superman just crashed into a meteorite packed with kryptonite. Oh. Well done, James. You just killed Superman. Yay! Lex Luthor would be happy with me. So you've killed an innocent woman who is just trying to tase you and get you under control and Superman. Yeah. You've killed humanity's last hope against dust. <laughs> well, no, there's always Luke Skywalker. Okay. Now, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? The people are getting closer to you and they've got oil and fire. I shoot myself in the head. You shoot yourself in the head. Um. Okay. You you racked up a fairly decent score there of about eleven. There's no real scoring system to this game. It's literally just uh, what do you feel like scoring them? You got. I'd say you got about a a B. A B. A B. A B. Oh, anyway, I'm going to do... I will now introduce a game. Would you oh. rather... Okay. Now, I recently did a recording of a Would You Rather game, which is going up tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. Is that Wednesday, then? Because this is going... No, this is going Tuesday. up today, hopefully. This is going up today. Monday. Dude, it's like 11 minutes past nine. I know, but I can do this, Adam. Do you believe in me? No, well, I don't believe even. in your bandwidth. I don't believe in your bandwidth because mine, literally, I was sat uploading a Minecraft video from eight four thirty in the morning to. Dude, it takes me about... like twenty minutes to upload. <laughs> Until about twenty half past two in the afternoon. So wow, half past four. Your internet past eight. is terrible. Oh. Yes, it is. Anyway. I'm glad you noticed. Anyway. Um, so. <sighs> okay. Right. Would you rather 
Would you rather be? Hmm. Right. Would you rather be uh, able to fly or able to breathe underwater? Is there a catch? No, no, there's no catch. You just be able to fly or be underwater. Be able to fly. Yes. Because there's a lot of predators underwater, so just being able to breathe underwater is a bit douchey. It's just kind of like, oh, I can breathe underwater. Oh, shit, a shark. I'm not that good at swimming because I can breathe underwater, so I've had no need to learn how to swim because I can just sit on the bottom of the water. That and the fact that the pressure could kill you if you got deep, deep enough. It's just like, what? Exactly. This is stupid. So, um, yeah, flying. Hmm. As long as you don't fly up too high, and then you get to really thin air, and then you're just like, <laughs> and then you go unconscious, and you go. <laughs> right, Disney question, Disney styled question. Would you rather have Aladdin's magic lamp with the genie inside, and have three wishes with that genie, or have Elsa's? Um, ice powers. I thought you were going to say Elsa's penis. <laughs> no. No, no, come again. What? Aladdin's magic lamp with the genie inside, or Elsa's ice powers? I would rather have the genie's magic, Elsa's ice, no, the genie's magic lamp. Because then I could get Elsa's ice powers, plus the ability to make multiple versions of myself plus the ability to make sure that I can keep the ones I love safe Aww. and close to my heart forever Shivy that's going out to you, <laughs> you, you I love you baby Aww, that's cute she's still on <laughs> anyway love you too Aww, that's cute. <laughs> anyway, I'm smiling. Ah! Anyway. Who would you rather have as, as a best friend? Captain America or Loki? Loki? John. You're playing practical jokes with that guy. Jeez. <laughs> Can you imagine just pranking someone? Oh, yeah, do an illusion. Do an illusion with that. That someone's uh, uh, got a gun. Make that guy think that I have a really, 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 big really dick. So so big that I can't walk. And he's just like, oh my god, that's so wrong. And make it look as though it's bursting out of my trousers. Oh. And he's just like, oh, oh. god. Oh, oh. And it's an old guy and he's like in his 60s. And then he has a heart attack. And then Loki's just like, high five. Yeah. And then he kills you probably. And then you your hand connects with his, and you just end up in like a coma for six weeks. <laughs> Probably, um, right? Because he had a, he had a buzzer on his hand. Would you? And as as a god, it takes a lot more volts to be able to uh, make an effect. So he powered it up for himself and gave, put me in a coma. <laughs> Adam, would you rather live in the future or the past? I would rather live in the present. That's not an option. No, because I I would rather live in the past so that I could make up for my mistakes and be with the ones I love sooner. Right. Or I would rather be in the future so I can see what I have done in the time being. However, what's the catch? There's going to be a catch um, here somewhere. What if I go missing catch for that is... time? What if I go to the past? I was never born. I go back to the past. No one knows who I am. I'm just this strange person who's appeared from the future. Am I naked? Am I going to get speared to death? Am right. I going to appear on a the field? Is... I, I might only live for 30 seconds. If I go to the future, maybe I've been taken out of time and put in the future. Therefore, Shivi's not going to know where I've gone. My family's not going to know where I've gone. And then they're left wondering where I've gone. And I show up like... 30 years later, Shiv is an old woman. Well, I say old woman. She's she's 
getting on in the years and there's just me showing up and going hi and am I the same age as her or am I like at the same age I am now right. that's gonna be that's gonna that's gonna give her a heart attack Adam, I don't want to give Shifty a heart attack no this is a rubbish plan Adam the catch is if you chose to go into the past and then you met yourself and touched your own self whether it be like oh my. accidentally or on the face or whatever <laughs> accidentally on the face I just then accidentally you go will to remove the... yourself make... from all time and space you would have never ex have existed no one would ever remember you and that will create a paradox where no one knows you slightly changing time where Shufi hasn't met you where your mum and your dad hasn't had you whatever if you go into the future then you'll become immortal and no matter how long into the future you go, you'll watch everyone that you've ever loved, or ever known, or ever will know, die. That sucks. I would happily go about 30 seconds into the past. Oh! And, and appear at Shivy's house. That way I'm not going to touch myself, and then I will disappear to show up at Shivy's house 30 seconds in the past, which would be then. So therefore, there's no paradoxes caused, because I'm not just going to keep appearing in that second. No, that's going to be me appearing in multiple timelines. Therefore, I'm there, I'm at Shivy's house. It would be, like, awesome. However, I would have to explain to my grandparents that I just disappeared in the middle of the night and appeared mm. at Shivy's house. Anyway. Oh, well, I say the middle of the night. It's like it's like twenty past nine. Shivy, how do you feel about that? I'm kind of weird because if you go back into my past, you'd be seeing me with a puppy. No, no, thirty seconds, dear. Oh, thirty seconds. <laughs> thirty seconds into thirty seconds into every everyone's past, just so I can appear at your house. Right. Okay. Right. So that I can I can give you a hug. We can sort some stuff out. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, no, forget I said that. Shut. Forget I said that. Forget I said that. Adam, if you could remove one feature of Google, what would it be? Right, that's not a would you rather. And uh, never mind. I'm slightly changing that. I forgot the would you rather thing. Yeah. Would you rather remove Google Chrome or Google Plus? Google Plus. Thank you. <laughs> you don't even have to ask, damn it. <laughs> Nobody on YouTube likes Google Plus. It screwed YouTube up. Yeah. I bet I bet you barely even remember the days before Google Plus. Mm, I slightly remember. They were a free I know, prosperous but... time. Where people could go about their YouTube days without having to have some Google Plus notifications whenever they've bloody commented on a bloody video and then some other person has commented on it and then you get notifications all day. Yeah, that and like 30 other things that it screwed up on um, YouTube and like... Ugh, just it it was just a bad thing anyway um so last one last one would you rather would you rather would you rather adam get rid of every single fallout game or every single indie game Oh, God. Oh, but I love Fallout. And you love indie games. And I love indie games. Where would Octodad be? Uh, would this, was this prevent indie games being made? Or Fallout games being made? They've already been made, but then they'll just be eradicated. Every single copy, whether a, um, would, physical would... or digital, you would not be able to ever get your hand on another Fallout on me game ever again would a new would new games be able to be created no. though what about indie games no oh crap. 
<laughs> this is impossible. Why am I just hang up so I don't have to answer? <laughs> no. <laughs> bad. Naughty. Oh, come on, though. That's such a hard question. No, it's that's the whole just... point. Actually, it's quite easy. Second and third. No, second and first Fallout was shit. And there's not many Fallout games, but indie games. Fallout 4 is amazing. So is Fallout 3. New, New Vegas is that's okay. That's only two games out of like that's, thousands. That's three games out of four games. Which ones? Because you said five games. The first and second. No, 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 it's just all the Fallout games. The first one and the second one are actually not bad games. They're quite good for nostalgia value because I did actually play them at one point when they were act just before Fallout 3 came out in 2006. Did you know that they were produced by different companies? Yes, they were. <laughs> and it was a good game. Fallout 3 was originally going to be a um, eagle view as well. Did you know? However, the interface was going to be slightly different. Did you know that um, Batman Arkham Asylum was originally going to be a rhythm based action game? Yes, I did. How c anyway, that anyway. Would be crap. anyway, I'd rather Fallout didn't exist. Oh, okay, fair enough. Because if Fallout didn't exist, then um, somebody would make an indie game version of it. Yeah, I suppose so. So, <laughs> Alright, yeah. I don't know where to go off from that. Adam, do you have any extra things that you wish to talk about? No, does anybody have any last words? Are you shivvy? Nope. Alright nope. guys, I think that's a good place to end the podcast. Thank you. First, first podcast of what we hope will be many. Yes, what shall we call this? I need a title. I'm not sure. Awesome. Um, the Mega Awesome People podcast. Amazing. <laughs> no noobs. The Nerdy Noobs podcast. Yes, the Nerdy Noobs. <laughs> I'm so good at names. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm more like a noob than a nerd. Uh, you know, that's why there's both. Um, thank you guys for listening to the Nerdy Noobs podcast. Where we talk See all about all nerdy stuff and we be noobs about it because we don't know anything. We we're nerdy. Next we're week, also I I actually wanted I want to talk about Halo because I watched a video about the science of the uh, Spartan oh. suit, uh, in particular the Master Chief Spartan suit. So next week, before next week, I'm going to be looking at all, all manner of Halo stuff, bit of the lore, bit of everything. Mm -hmm. We're not sure if Shivy will join us next week. Maybe not. Maybe we could get Katie in. Maybe the third. The third elusive member of J.A.K., the only one who's not released any real content in a long time. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I've, re I've released real content, but only in, like, the last <laughs> week. Mm, same here. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening. Adam, say goodbye. Farewell, everyone. Shivy, say goodbye. Bye. And I'd like to have a shout out to my awesome girlfriend, Siobhan Hughes. Okay. Oh no, I just gave her a second name. I will bleep it out. Yeah. I delete that. I will bleep it out. <laughs> anyway, right. and it's goodbye from me. We will see you in the next podcast. Bye bye. Freeze break for the win. See you later, everyone.